And now for October 2019 International A level uh, P1, question number two. Um, a tree was planted in the ground exactly two years after it was planted. The height of the tree was 1.85 meters. Exactly seven years after it was planted, the height of the tree was 3.45 meters. Given that the height, capital H meters, of the tree t years after it was planted in the ground can be modeled by the equation H equals A T plus B, where A and B are constants, find the value of A and the value of B. So basically they've given us a pair of simultaneous equations um, in a kind of roundabout worded problem type of way. And so basically what we know is that this two years is what is the value of t. Okay, that's t. And the h, whoops, and the h, all right, is the height of the tree. So this is t and this is h. So in one situation, it says when t is equal to 2, h is equal to 1.85. So if we substitute these two values into this equation, you have 1.85 is equal to a times 2 plus b, which leads us to the equation uh, 2a plus b equals 1.85. That's one equation. And then you have from the other pair of um, values, I said when t is equal to 7, h is equal to 3.45. Okay, so what we can do is, all right, uh, and also very important, um, it says h is in meters, and here, this is meters, that's fine, that's in meters, t is in years, two years, seven years, so we have no problem with the units here. Sometimes they might trick you with the unit there. Anyway, so it says 3.45 is going to be a times seven, plus b, so we can say 7a plus b is equal to 3.45. So we have a pair of simultaneous equations which we can solve, and we can solve them by subtracting the two equations um, to eliminate the, the, the b. So I have 1 minus 2 equation 1 minus equation 2. Um, in fact, I'll do it the other way around to keep my a term positive. It doesn't really matter, but it's just... I prefer to do that. So I'll do equation 2 minus equation 1. Okay, which will give me 7a minus 2a, which is 5a. b minus b disappears. And 3.45 minus 1.85. Okay, just to make sure, in case we make a silly mistake. 3.45, whoops, 4.5, minus 1.85. And that gives us 8 over 5, which is 1.6. So 5a is equal to 1.6. So a is equal to 1.6 divided by 5. So you divide that by 5. And you're left with 0.32. So that's your value of a. So a is equal to 0.32. Okay, and then we've got to find what b is, which you can just substitute that into one of the other formulae there. I'll just move this down a bit. Okay, so we, what we can do to find B, we can substitute either into A, equation 1 or equation 2. Equation 1 looks a bit simpler, so let's take A equals 0 0.32 and put it inside this equation. So you have 2 times 0 0.32 plus B equals 1.85. So B is going to be 1.85 minus, that's going to be 0 0.64. Okay, so you have 1.85, um, so you have this times 2, and you have uh, 1.85 minus that. Minus the answer gives us 1.21, so B is equal to 1.21. Okay, so B is, oops, so B is equal to 1.21. Okay, so that's your answer for B. So B is equal to 1.21. So there's your answer for A and for B. Okay, now it says, state according to the model the height of the tree when it was planted. So now we know what the value of A and B is, we can now fill in this equation. So we can say H, we know H is equal to AT plus B, and we know what A and B is, so we can say H is equal to A, which was 0 0.32, times t plus b which is 1.21 now 
It says that T is a time after the plant was planted, two years after it was planted. So when it was planted, okay, T is equal to zero. Okay, so when, when planted, okay, T is equal to zero. So therefore, H is equal to 0 0.32 times zero plus 1.21. So H is equal to 1.21, and you should state the units here, 1.21 meters. Okay, A and B were constants, so they don't have a unit, but this has a unit. The height of the tree at the time of planting is 1.21. Now, some people make a mistake in this. I noticed that when I marked um, the exam that I gave to my students, um, and they were putting t equals 1. One or two students put t equals 1 instead of 0. So here it states very clearly that t is a time after planting. So when it was planted, t was 0. If you put t equals 1, you're actually finding the height of the tree one year after it was planted. Okay, so there's the answer to that question.